Welcome back. Today is day 14 of the 30 days of transformations. If you don't know what that is, it is simply a challenge where I'm jumping on here every day live for 30 days and talking about a transformation that I have gone through um, during my, my, really, my own body love journey. And the challenge for you is that every day I'm giving you a small task, something to do, something that you can take away and that you can do in your own life to start facilitating that exact same transformation. So today is day 14 and today we are talking shopping, specifically clothes shopping. All right. And this is one of those things that, um, I used to have a horrible relationship with like horrible. All right. I am, I am by no means, I don't love shopping. I don't think I ever will. I just don't think that's like my thing, but I no longer hate it and I don't avoid it. I mean, when I grew up, like I said, I had a horrible relationship with shopping. And I think a lot of that really came from my mom. Um, my mom, uh, had a really awful body image. Um, she was overweight pretty much her whole life, hated shopping, avoided it at all costs. And I learned really young, like shopping sucks and I should avoid it at all costs too. And then as I grew up through my childhood and my teens and into my twenties, um, and I had this body image where I was just hating on myself. I was so ashamed with what I looked like. I was so terrified of being seen why would I want to go out in public where I was seen into a clothing store where I would be seen in the store? I would have to get naked, be inside a change room. I would have to get naked and put on other clothes. And then I would have to judge what I'd look like in the mirror. That was like the day from hell. <laughs> it really was. All right. Let me tell you, I hated clothes shopping, hated it, hated it. I mean, one of the things that I would do is I would, I would put it off like forever, especially bra shopping. All right. If you're out there watching this, any ladies who hate bra shopping, I get you. All right. Hated it. Um, I w and I would, I literally, I would just avoid it at all costs and I would just not go and I would just make do with what I had. And I would wear my clothes literally until they had holes in them until I had to throw them out. They weren't even good enough to donate to like a clothing donation place anymore. Um, and I would really just avoid it at all costs. The, the beautiful thing about learning to love your body, one of the exercises that I did on my own journey and something that we do in the Body Love Bootcamp, and I do it with one-on-one -on -one clients, and I love this exercise, and it's, it's mirror work, all right? It's, it's standing in front of the mirror and looking at yourself. And you, you're saying affirmations and you are, you know, you're, you basically, you get in dialogue with yourself. But one of the really awesome things about that is that you get really comfortable seeing yourself in the mirror and albeit it's still uncomfortable at the beginning, it's a process, right? And you work through it. And as I've learned to love my body, I don't hate seeing it in the mirror anymore. And I think a big part of that is there's no surprises. When I hated, when I hated my body, I wouldn't look in the mirror. Right. I would, I would hear up. That's what I saw. I would, I would just try not to see anything else. And therefore when I did have to go into a change room, especially with those like 360 mirrors and I did put on clothes, suddenly I was seeing what I never saw. Whereas now I look at myself every single day. I, I see myself naked every day. I like, I'm very comfortable with my body now because I've learned to love it and because I've really just come to accept what it is. Um, I also, and I still do a little bit, I'm still learning. All right. I'm not perfect. I never claim to be. I used to have a lot of rules about what I was allowed to wear. So I've talked about this before on this page, but really talking about, you know, I wasn't allowed to wear, you know, for a long time it was don't wear white because White makes you look fatter. So try to, stick to, try to stick to dark colors. And there was, patterns can be good, but like not too much pattern, a little bit of pattern. And you want things to be flowy, but they also have to give you a shape. And you need this, and you need this, and you need this, and you need this. And there were so many damn rules that I was just like, screw this. Like, this isn't fun anymore. And for a long time, I also, just with my size, I was hovering right at the, where I was borderline plus size, um, borderline not plus size, where I could sort of shop in all stores. And... So it was really difficult to actually find clothing that fit me. 
And when you d- paired that with then having like a thousand rules on top of it, yeah, no, like a recipe for disaster. So I'm really curious if you have rules. If you have rules about what you're allowed to wear, what you are allowed to put on your body. Um, Because it's really interesting to start getting curious about this. And I've asked this before, but I think every single time you you ask it, um, you're going to come up with a different answer, in my experience. Um, And then the last reason that I used to hate shopping, and something that has definitely transformed, is that I would literally, I would get in there and I would get really frustrated like nothing was fitting and I was like pulling and really uncomfortable and I definitely more than once broke down into tears in a dressing room um I would quite often leave with nothing because I was just so fed up and so emotional and I just didn't want to be there anymore um and literally those feelings would follow me home like I would feel like crap after for such a long time I would just feel like shit like just like all my energy had been drained and all I had left was like this negativity and this shame and this guilt and um it was awful it was really awful and although like I said I'm not perfect now right I'm not like skipping down the aisles happy to shop but like I'm I'm okay with it and if I do go into a dressing room and I do happen to have one of those experiences where like oh nothing is fitting and this is frustrating and I really don't like this it doesn't follow me it's a really big deal So instead of it following me and having that um, experience for the rest of that day or that weekend or that week or that month even, I can literally walk out of that store and just leave it. Leave it in the store. Leave those emotions in the store. And they don't follow me. And it's a really beautiful thing to realize that, number one, I've created boundaries, but also that... I'm resilient and that, yeah, I'm still going to have bad days and I'm still going to have days where I, where I feel like crap. Like that's normal. That's called being human, but it doesn't have to stick with me. And I have created this ability to, like, I feel very empowered. Basically, I have the power to decide how I want to move forward. It no longer follows me against my will. So I really just want to ask you, your homework for today is really just a bit of reflection, right? I really just want to ask you, how can you have you know, so first of all, what is your current experience like when you're shopping for clothes? Is it like mine used to be? Do you avoid it? Do you hate it? Do you feel shame and guilt and frustration and do you cry and do you get angry? Or are you in a place where you feel all right? Maybe you don't love it. Maybe you're like me where you don't love it, but maybe you feel all right. Or maybe you do love it. Um, but really, I just want to tell you that if you don't like shopping, you can change it. You really honestly can transform that. You are not stuck. You're not stuck where you are right now at all. Not stuck. So if you do have rules, I really just invite you to look at those and ask, number one, where they came from. And number two, are they serving you? Like, is it true? Like for me with my don't wear white, is that true? Well, no, it's not. I actually look really good in white. I now own a lot of white clothes. Um, I stain them a lot, but they're not, like they don't make me look fat. They're not unflattering in any way. Um, So really just have a look at those rules. Have a look at your experience. See if it's true. Um, And then also, like, what would you like? What would you like? So grab your journal and write that down. Like, what would you like your experience to be when shopping for clothes? Let's start creating that vision of where you're going to get to. Okay, so um, that's it for day 14. I hope this has been helpful. This is definitely a big one for me. And uh, have a wonderful night or day, morning, wherever you are. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for day 15.